myself prayag patel working as assistant professor in itict department of lg institute of engineering and technology in today's video lecture i will discuss about the fractional knapsack problem using grid algorithm now first we understand what is knapsack problem in knapsack problem want to carry essential items in one bag means you have one bag capacity of bag consider as a n number of weight means here consider n equal to 15 so capacity of bag equal to 15 now given a set of items each has a weight and value here consider many number of objects like first object is 12 kg second object is 2 kg third object is 1 kg fourth object is 4 kg and fifth object is 1 kg now each and every object has weight and value here consider the value equal to 4 dollar 2 dollar 1 dollar like this and a capacity of bag capital w is given so here consider the capacity of bag equal to 15 and each and every object has weight and value now what is our goal our goal is item to include in a collection so that the total weight is less than some given limit means here consider the limit equal to 15 kg because our capacity of knapsack equal to 15 so here limit of weight equal to 15 kg maximum you can include the weight into this bag as a 15 kg now second goal is the total value is as large as possible means our main goal is find the maximum profit according to this bag means fill the data into this bag according to that the maximum profit we will get so here consider the knapsack problem types of knapsack problem here two types of knapsack problem fractional knapsack problem and zero one knapsack problem now what is the difference between fractional knapsack problem and zero one knapsack problem first consider the fractional knapsack problem in fractional knapsack problem problem is that you can take a fraction of an item means you divide the any object or part the object and select the any part of that object means you can fractional this object and second part is second type is zero one knapsack problem in zero one knapsack problem zero one knapsack problem is that you cannot take a fraction of an item means you can either take it or not means if the capacity of knapsack equal to 15 and any object weight is larger than capacity or remaining weight means you are consider the remaining weight in this bag as a 5 kg and next object weight consider as a 10 kg then you cannot include this 10 kg into this 5 kg bag because our capacity is smaller than the object weight so in this case zero one knapsack you not select that object because the object weight is larger than the capacity or remaining capacity so here not select the object means consider as a zero object is selected if we select the whole object then consider as a one so we consider the name of this second method is zero one knapsack in fractional knapsack you can divide the object means the capacity equal to 5 and weight equal to 10 objects weight equal to 10 then you can divide this object into 2.55 kg of two object and include one part of that object in a according to fractional knapsack problem so here consider the fractional knapsack problem first now in fractional knapsack problem using grid algorithm in this video we discuss about the fractional knapsack problem using grid algorithm now consider one example of fractional knapsack problem find the optimal solution of the knapsack instance n equal to 7 and the capacity of knapsack is capital m equal to 15 so here consider capital m equal to 15 means capacity of our knapsack equal to 15 and here total seven number of objects are available because n consider as a seven here consider the seven object as a x1 x2 x3 x4 up to x7 as a different different seven object or item now weight and value here consider value as a profit so here for each and every object we have the weight and value or well profit in each and every case so here consider x1 
weight equal to 2 and profit equal to 10 means x1 object if we select the x1 object then weight of the x1 object equal to 2 and we will get the profit equal to 10 for whole the x1 object means for 2 kg so for second object consider 3 as a weight and 5 as a profit for third object consider 5 as a weight and 15 as a profit for fourth object consider 7 as a weight and 7 as a profit for fifth object x5 consider 1 as a weight and 6 as a profit for six object consider four as a weight and 18 as a profit and for last object one as a weight and three as a profit now how we can find the knapsack problem solution using greedy algorithm in greedy algorithm we have three method for finding the fractional knapsack problem solution first one is greedy about weight next one is greedy about profit and last one is find pi upon wi now what is greedy about weight Greedy about weight means find the minimum weight item means first we select the item according to weight means first we select minimum weight item then next then next like this in second method greedy about profit means we consider the item as a maximum beneficial item means we select the item according to maximum profit and in third method we first find the pi upon wi and according to this we select the object one by one like this so here consider the first method greedy about weight now consider same example for greedy about weight method the capacity of knapsack is capital m equal to 15 and each and every object weight and value is given in this table so consider object number x1 to x7 and weight and value of each and every object now next step is find the total weight here total weight equation equal to sigma i equal to 1 to n wi into xi now what is wi and what is xi wi means weight of i object and xi means x1 x2 x3 as a x7 number of object or object number so here first according to greedy about weight here consider the maximum we can find the maximum profit according to greedy about weight then in greedy about weight we select the minimum weighted object first so here consider column of weight so here wi column consider the wi column in wi column minimum weight equal to 1 here consider object number 5 x5 and x7 has one weight means we select object number 5 or object number 7 but we follow the sequence from top to down so here consider first object is x5 because weight of x5 equal to 1 so first we select object number 5 so capacity of knapsack initially considered as a 15 so m equal to 15 now if we select the object number 5 and put the object number 5 in our bag then capacity of knapsack equal to 15 minus 1 equal to 40 so now consider the next object as a next weight here consider the next weight equal to 1 because we can consider the minimum weight so here 1 as a next weight then consider the object number 7 is selected and find the m means here consider m equal to initially 15 but we put the one object x5 then m equal to 14 so here consider m equal to 14 minus 1 because we include this object in our bag so remaining weight m equal to 30 now consider the next object according to column number weight here consider the next weight equal to 2 so consider 2 as a wi and find the m here consider m equal to 13 minus weight of 1 equal to 2 so 13 minus 2 equal to 11 now consider the next object next object consider as a x2 because weight of x2 equal to 3 now find the 11 minus 3 equal to 8 as a value of m now we select the next greater object means here consider the next weight equal to 4 and we select the object number x6 and find the value of m m means remaining weight in our knapsack means in our bag so here consider m equal to 8 minus 4 equal to 4 now consider the next object next object consider as a x3 here in x3 weight of the x3 consider as a 5 and remaining weight in our bag capital m equal to 4 
so here main problem is available space equal to 4 and next weight equal to 5 so not include x3 as a whole item because here capacity is less than available weight here available next weight equal to 5 and capacity of remaining capacity of knapsack equal to 4 so we can include the 4 kg weight only not include the 5 kg because remaining weight equal to 4 so here consider 4 minus 4 equal to 0 as our m equal to 0 means capacity of knapsack is full now how we can find the profit or which object is selected here consider first we select the object number 5 means consider w5 into x5 plus next is w7 plus w7 into x7 plus w1 plus into x1 plus w2 into x2 plus w6 into x6 plus w3 into x3 so here total six object is selected here consider the value of w3 and x3 here w5 and x5 first one is w5 and x5 so consider w5 equal to weight of 5 equal to 1 and what is x5 if we select the whole object then consider the x5 as a 1 remember this step w5 means consider as a weight of the object and x5 consider as a object is selected or not or if object is selected then how many content are there so here consider the x5 as a 1 because whole object is selected now next is x7 and w7 into x7 here w7 means weight of object number 7 equal to 1 and x7 means object is selected completely so here consider 1 now next is w1 x1 w1 means weight of 1 weight of 1 equal to 2 and x1 x1 means first object is selected or not first object is selected so here write 1 now next is x2 w2 means here consider first w2 w2 means weight of 2 equal to 3 x2 means second number object is selected completely so here write 1 now next is object number 6 w6 into x6 here w6 means weight equal to 4 and x6 means six number object is selected completely 4 kg so here consider as a 1 now remember last step w3 x3 in w3 x3 here consider w3 as a weight of 3 and weight of 3 equal to 5 okay now next one is x3 x3 means third object is completely selected then we can write the x3 as a 1 but in this case we select x3 as a not whole completely 5 kg weight we only include the 4 kg weight so here consider 4 minus 4 equal to 0 in a so here we select only how many number of object or how many number of items so here consider total weight of object equal to 5 and we select only 4 kg so we can consider 4 by 5 as a x3 okay remember this step x3 as a 4 by 5 because we select the 4 kg out of 5 kg okay now what is the total weight total weight means solution of this step is considered as a 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 so total equal to 15 means we satisfy the capacity of knapsack equal to 15 now next step is find the total profit how we can find the total profit we select the one by one object and find the total profit here total profit equation equal to i equal to 1 to n pi into xi now what is the value of pi and xi consider one by one object first we select the object number 5 then profit equal to 6 next we select the object number 7 profit equal to 3 next we select the object number 2 and profit equal to 10 next we select the object number x2 then profit equal to 5 next we select the object number x6 and profit equal to 18 and last we select the object number 3 x3 then weight equal to 5 and profit equal to 15 but how we can find according to this equation consider the first p5 into x5 plus p7 into x7 according to our sequence of the steps now p5 x5 plus p7 x7 plus p1 x1 plus p2 x2 plus p6 x6 plus p3 x3 
Now, what is the value of P5, P6, P7 like this? Here, consider the profit as a P, P of I. And Xi means if we select the whole object, then consider Xi equal to 1. If we divide that object into number of sub-object, then consider Xi as a fractional part. Okay. Here, if we select whole object, then Xi equal to 1. If we divide that object, then consider as a 4 by 5 like this fractional part. Now, consider the value of P5 and X5. First one is P5 into X5. Now, P5 means profit of 5. In profit of 5 equal to 6 and X5 equal to 1 because we select the whole object P5. Okay. Now, 6 into 1. Next is P7 into X7. Now, P7 means 3 and X7 means here consider 1 as a weight and 3 as a profit. So, here 3 as a profit and X7 means whole object is selected. So, X7 equal to 1. Now, next P1 into X1. P1 means profit of 1 equal to 10. And X1 means here consider X1 as a object number 1 is com selected completely or not. Here X1 object is uh, selected completely because 2 kg weight we include in our bag. So, consider as a 1. Then P2 X2. P2 X2 means P2 as a profit of 2 equal to 5. And X2 means second object selected completely. Now, uh, P6 into X6. P6 means consider as a for, uh, 18 as a profit for P6. And X6 means object number 6 is completely selected equal to 1. So, last one is remember last step P3 X3 means here consider P3 as a 15 profit of third object. But here consider the X3 as a 1 or anything else. Here consider X3 equal to 1 if we select the whole object P3 object number 3 x3 but we select only 4 kg out of 5 kg means here consider x3 as a fractional part 4 by 5 means consider as a point something so here consider 15 into 4 by 5 as a x3 remember this step now solve this formula then we will get answer as a 6 plus 3 plus 10 plus 5 plus 18 plus 12 and the total equal to 54 Means here consider if we apply the greedy about weight method means we select the each and every object like in sequence of weight means first we consider minimum weight then next the weight then next weight like this and according to this we consider the profit. So in this method we will get the profit equal to 54. Thank you for watching.